Okay, you guys, check this out. You are not going to want to miss out on this review. Once again, we have been working closely with our developers to produce a top-of-the-line car camera that was designed from the ground up with your input and main concerns in mind. You guys actually helped create this. I am extremely proud to present to you the Beast 2 dash camera. This is a good one. For starters, it has a dual lens, so it captures video out in front on the road as well as inside your vehicle, both cameras running simultaneously at full 1080p resolution. This dash cam is perfect for capturing not only what goes on behind you on the road in case you wind up in court and have to prove someone was tailgating you before they ran into you, but also for parents with teenage drivers, it is an excellent tool to keep tabs on what they are doing, who they are with, and if they have any dangerous driving habits that you can work with them to correct. Now I've been doing some exhaustive testing on this particular camera for quite some time in all kinds of weather conditions. I have even captured a couple accidents and the aftermath of some accidents while recording everything with this particular dash camera model. Through it all I have come to the conclusion that this camera belongs at the top of my recommended A-list and I'm going to give you all the reasons why. First and foremost is image quality. I won't even produce a demo video of a dash camera unless it has exceptional image quality in all lighting conditions. This one holds its own at the top of the heap. Now I have tested many dual lens cameras and the main shortcoming of all the others is that they sacrifice video quality simply because the processor cannot keep up with the difficult task of recording video from two cameras at once. This usually means you end up with choppy video, slower frame rates, lower resolution, or perhaps a good front camera combined with a crappy rear camera. Not so with this remarkable piece of technology. It has dual video processors which handle the full HD 1080p video from both the front and rear cameras with ease. This model features twin Novatech 96663 chipsets with dual Sony 3 323 image sensors to give you clear, crisp video from each video stream. It literally is two separate dash cameras inside one sturdy compact unit. The second most important thing I look for in a dash camera is the mounting system. Now this is important. Suction cup dash cameras are okay for cheap beginner models, but they tend to fall off easily. And worst of all, they always produce shaky video because there is always too much flexing in the armatures. You won't have those problems with this beauty. It comes with a solid window windshield mount which is installed with 3M VHB tape. This superior mounting system ensures absolutely zero vibrations in your video and your dash camera is absolutely guaranteed to never fall off as you drive. I can attest to that personally because I have been testing two of these and they have been all over the place in two separate vehicles in extreme heat and cold and neither camera has budged from its mount or exhibited a single rattle over any type of road condition. The video they produce has been rock solid across the board. The third most awesome thing I love about this dash camera is the fact that it uses an internal supercapacitor instead of a battery as a backup power source for when the camera is shutting down. This newest technology is superior to an old style internal lithium battery because those batteries can overheat, leak, and explode, but the worst thing of all is they wear out after a year or two, just like the battery in your cell phone, making your old dash camera almost worthless in an accident. Why? Because if the battery is worn out and you are in an accident, chances are you will lose the very last video recorded, the actual accident video, because once the power is cut, the battery is dead, so the unit will shut off instantly without saving, or it will save a corrupt, unviewable file, which will be no help to you at all in court when you try to defend yourself or or sue a driver who hits you. With the advanced technology of its supercapacitor, the lifetime of this dash camera can be measured in decades instead of months. Now let's talk about memory capacity. This is another thing which puts the Beast 2 dash camera at the top of my list. One of the most often asked questions I get from viewers is, how long can this camera record before the card fills up? Now most dash cameras will only accept up to 32 gigabytes of memory, but with the Beats 2, you can use four times that amount, up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. This will give you a full 24 hours of 1080p full HD video, even when the cameras are set to maximum video quality resolution. So the next time you go on a long road trip, you can record the memories of your whole driving experience on one single card. 
The next thing I love about this dash camera is how easy it is to access the buttons in the micro SD card slot. The card slot is at the top, right where it should be, and it's a cinch to swap in and out. You can remove the camera easily and bring the whole thing into your computer to transfer files, or you can simply pop the card out and use a card reader while leaving the camera installed in your vehicle. The buttons are clearly marked right on the front of the unit, so you can find the correct ones while driving, and they are backlit for easy visibility at night. This makes it a cinch to operate its quick access functions on the fly while you are driving. For instance, if you are driving along and something happens in front of you or inside the vehicle and you want to make sure that particular video is not overwritten, simply reach up as you're driving and press the OK button and the current video file will be locked so it won't be erased later on down the road. Or if you want to mute the audio to have a private conversation, just reach up and press the down arrow button. To record audio once again, press the button one more time. This dash camera also has exceptionally clear audio. Usually audio is not a huge consideration when I am reviewing a dash camera, but it is always a pleasant surprise to be able to hear voices clearly when playing back videos. You may want to consider muting the audio as you drive for privacy, especially if you like to gossip on the phone a lot or sing out of tune and you don't want to be embarrassed later if someone plays back your footage. And uh, Madison was eating oatmeal one morning <laughs> and she was sitting there, I was wondering who she was talking to. She was really little, she was only like maybe four. And she was sitting with her bowl eating oatmeal and there was a raccoon watching her through the window <laughs> really and with his hands on the window like are you gonna give me some and madison was talking to the raccoon yeah what was she saying she's she goes are you hungry really yeah. <laughs> another unique feature is the wi-fi mode so you can download the optional road cam app to your smartphone from there you can control your dash camera you can change resolution settings and start and stop video recordings as well as snap photos remotely if you wish. This dash camera comes in a very well protected retail box and it contains this dual lens 1080p full HD dash camera, a 3M windshield mounting clip, a USB cable for connecting the device to your computer, a cigarette lighter adapter with a 10 foot cord for powering the unit in your vehicle, some cable clips for holding the power wire in place, and this set of easy to understand instructions which are written in plain English and very easy to understand and follow. Installation is as simple as it gets. You just insert a micro SD card, attach the camera to the windshield mount, then plug one end of the USB cord into the camera and the other end into your car's power port. Make sure the dash camera powers up so you can look at the LCD screen while lining it up. If it doesn't come alive right away, that's normal. Just turn your car's ignition on until you get the welcome screen. Now rotate the two camera lenses into position and simultaneously look at the LCD screen as you move the camera around on the windshield until you determine the best place to mount it. I like to position it so it ends up being hidden from the driver's view behind the rear view mirror as much as possible. That way the dash cam doesn't impede the driver's view. Now when you're ready, remove the sticky tape backing, then press the whole camera gently into place at its previously determined position. Now remove the camera from the semi-permanent mount and press firmly on the mounting clip itself to lock it onto the windshield. Then slide the camera back into place. Finally, you can stick the cord to the windshield using the included cord clips and hide the remainder of it behind your car's trim pieces. Now, each time you start your car, the camera will power up and begin recording automatically. And when you turn your ignition off and park, it saves the last file and shuts down all by itself. This camera also has every other option imaginable that you would expect from a high-end dash camera, such as loop recording, so it automatically will delete older files to make room for new ones. There is no need to do any file maintenance. You can just set this camera up in your vehicle and then completely forget about it. Don't touch it, just leave it alone. Later on, if someone around you causes an accident, the video evidence will be captured and saved to the card automatically. It also features a G sensor, so in case you are in an accident, the camera will lock the accident file to prevent it from being overwritten. This is very handy. If you happen to be knocked out or in an ambulance on the way to the hospital, you definitely don't want your dash camera to be recording over vital footage in your wrecked car in your absence. Video playback on the 2-inch LCD screen is a breeze, so you can show officers on the scene that you are the innocent party. There is also a lane departure warning system and a front-end collision warning system to help keep you and your family safe on the road. 
It has motion detection mode, so you can keep an eye on your vehicle when you are not around. This is great for capturing vandals and other crooks who come within range of your car. You can also turn on a parking monitor, which will trigger a recording if your car gets bumped while in the parking lot and you are away. The dash camera also has a bunch of other settings, which I don't have time to get into, such as wide dynamic range, exposure compensation, anti-fog mode, it has a fatigue mode, it has a lower beam reminder, and a few other things. So, I think I hit all the main important points. In summary, the ease of operation, superior rock-solid mounting system, dual lenses with double the processing power, massive 128GB memory capacity, the excellent audio quality, super capacitor technology for decades of useful life, and not to mention the gorgeous, clear 1080p full HD video, front and rear, combined with loads of extra features, make the Beast 2 a slam dunk winner in the dual lens dash camera category. You know, I really can't praise the designers enough for creating such a masterpiece, which is not only sleek and elegant aesthetically, but also so perfectly balanced and functional. <gasps> Why you make me reach over and honk for you? <laughs> because you're, you're my third to, hand. You're supposed to honk. I'm going to put a freaking buzzer right here. A little button. And it's going to go to a freaking train horn. It's going to be like... Uh -huh. Every time someone does that. Remember, other dash cameras might look similar and claim to have the same quality, but if you order from What a Deal by clicking the link in the description below or by visiting our website directly, you'll know exactly what you're going to get. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. Be sure to subscribe to What a Deal to see more of these try before you buy demo videos. And don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads. See you next time.